Hello, 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 hello. Hi, is everybody. Welcome to another Empowered Friday. I hope everyone had a great week. I, uh, you know, something unusual happened for me this week. I, uh, middle part of the week, I felt myself getting overwhelmed. Any of you ever had that feeling of just being overwhelmed? Um, and I, I just had to stop. You know, I, I had dinner planned that evening. I had to cancel that with uh, my wife and some friends. And I realized for me uh, that I had gotten so behind on some of the work I needed to do. I, I, I received mail once a week from Houston when I'm out in our California home. And I was two weeks behind on that. Uh, I had a presentation uh, that I had to prepare for. And we'll, we'll actually talk about that today. But I found myself, and I encourage you, uh, when you get overwhelmed, just stop. Just stop. Take a moment for yourself. Uh, understand what it is that you need to do to, to get uh, to a place where mentally you're at peace. And I found that that works for me. And I encourage each and every one of you to do the same thing. So, you know, I look at your comments and I, I, I saw last week we had a few comments. Uh, and we have to remember, we have new people coming every week. And thank you, by the way. Uh, thank all of you for uh, your kind words, your love. Thank you for your encouragements to others. Uh, and, and thank you for sharing the word that we do this once a week, Empowered Fridays. Uh, so for those of you that are new this week, uh, we are really talking about the DNA of Achievers, 10 traits, 10 traits that I've found that highly successful professionals do for the most part. Uh, and that's what we're talking about. The first week we talked about passion, uh, then work ethics, uh, vision, and being a visionary and what that means and that path, and being a risk taker. That's what we talked about last week, being a risk taker. This week, this week we're talking about planning and, and what that means, the process of preparing or making preparations, planning. The process of preparing. You know, I had to uh, prepare. I had a very important lecture I gave at Cornell this week. It takes planning. I, I don't just, even today, I don't just walk out here without really planning, writing down what I want to discuss, uh, taking the time to make sure that it's in sync, sequence and that it makes sense. Uh, that I've covered all of the points that I want to cover. Uh, so, but that requires planning and preparation. Uh, it re requires uh, execution, um, expertise, getting facts and information, assessments of strengths, and our weaknesses, uh, opportunities and threats. That's all part of the planning process. You know, I've never encountered a successful person who just flows by the seat of their pants. Have you? I haven't. The people that I know that are successful, uh, they prepare. They don't just flow by the seat of their pants. And by the way, would you get on an airplane? Any airplane, if you knew the pilot, did not have a plan, did not work. Didn't know where we're going to land. We're just going to get on that plane and fly, not knowing how we're going to get there. Would any of us do that? The answer is no. Yet, as my wife say, however, comma, sometimes we all do that. Fly by the seat of our pants, not knowing how we're going to get to the destination. Sometimes we live our lives that way. With, with no plan whatsoever. Uh, sometimes at work, 
we have no plan of how we're going to accomplish a goal. Sometimes even in parenting, we have no plan on, on how we're going to parent and, and be good parents. And so success, folks, is not incidental. It's never accidental success, no. Some people make it look easy, but I assure you, it's not incidental success. By the way, I want to just say, I know there was a, a few comments that said, well, um, why is this man telling women uh, what they need to do? Well, I, I can tell you, I'm a motivational speaker, and what I say today, I say to a full a room full of people, be it all women, all men, a mixture, uh, it really doesn't matter to me. Because when you look at the DNA of achievers, it, 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 it's not based on uh, if you're a woman or if you're a man, it's based on just what are these common traits that successful people, uh, what do they do? And, and that's what I talk about uh, as a motivational speaker. So part of planning is also goal setting. Uh, having, having goals uh, that we wanna accomplish and, and short-term goals sometimes. You know, we, we, we have to look at, okay, what is it that I wanna accomplish this week? What is it that I want to accomplish this month? What is it that I want to accomplish this year? Those are the ways that we began to start our planning process and first setting the goals and making the preparations. And then how are we going to execute short term, long term? But I love that word strategic, because a lot of us plan, but are we strategic planners? You know, once uh, when I was a manager uh, in the music industry, I take Destiny's Child, for example, I would have this room just full of notes, all of white paper, all around the room of how am I gonna get to that goal? No difference. And remember, we're not going to get on an airplane where the pilot has no idea how he's going to get us there or where we're going. And I think if you just keep reminding yourself of that, would we do that? The answer is no. And we have to be ready for the unexpected when we start to plan. We can't be rigid and say, well, this is just the way we do it. You know, a lot of people in their planning process, they will, well, that's just the way we do it. Well, we have to be ready for the unexpected, ready for change. And by the way, change often makes us uncomfortable, doesn't it? Change is supposed to make us uncomfortable. And I often say, if, if I'm up here and I'm talking and speaking to you and none of you are feeling uh, uncomfort level, then I'm really not doing what I really set out to accomplish. Um, in order for us to change, we have to be somewhat uncomfortable. I'll often laugh and say that uh, the only people I know that, that uh, love change are actually babies. They love the, their diapers changed. Uh, but back to the point of planning. You know, asking ourselves, what tools are needed to accomplish our goals? And that's part of that planning process. Uh, I believe in a visual timeline, as I talk. It, it works for me when I can write down and have a visual timeline of what I need to do to accomplish my goal. What is that planning process? And so, I hope you are beginning to, to see the puzzle or the foundation of the house that we're building every Friday. We, we again, we started out with passion and the things that, that thing that excites us and, and we understand how, what coexists with passion or work ethics. We talked about the vision, being a visionary and 
and, and seeing what others might don't see. Uh, we talked about taking a risk and, and understanding how planning fits inside of all of these traits. And the further we get out, the further you would see how we're building this house from the foundation. Uh, but again, I, uh, I really encourage you to ask yourself the question, uh, what are some of your goals? And we talked about an IBM uh, example in the exercise where we actually begin to see in the future, look five years out, look 10 years out. I can't overly emphasize to you. I've, I've gotten the opportunity to meet a lot of successful people. And what they all do is strategic planning. So I encourage you this week to take a look at the goals that you have set in your personal life, uh, at work, uh, whatever it may be. It might be financial goals that you have set. But I guarantee you one thing, failure to plan is absolutely planning to fail. Let me say that again. Failure to plan is planning to fail. So again, I encourage you uh, to begin your planning process. I uh, again want to thank all of you and each one of you for giving me this opportunity to just stand here on Friday and have a conversation with you, uh, share the goods, the bad, and sometimes the ugly that's happened in my life because we're never perfect. I never present myself that way as being perfect. Uh, but you know, I always enjoy learning. Every day I try to learn, every day. Uh, so I encourage you to do the same. By the way, b before I leave, I uh, uh, most of you may or may not know, I, I'm a college professor now, this is my uh, 17th or 18th year, I kind of forget myself. Uh, but I do have an online course. If any of you are aspiring or would like to, or, or maybe are in the music industry, I teach a class on the fundamentals of the music industry in a digital age. And, and most people don't know those fundamentals, the business side of it. Uh, that applies to every aspect of the music industry. It might be yourself or you might have uh, children, or kids that would like to be in the industry or a friend that you know. I encourage you to, to uh, register at Point Blank Music School. Uh, this is the last week coming up for registration as we begin. I begin my first class. Uh, we'll um, close registration. So that's what you see scrolling past today. Uh, if you have someone that would like to register. But again, I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Good evening, and we'll see you next week. I'm out. <laughs>